Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm gonna be um weathering this trailer on the other side. So it will look like this. So this is I've weathered this side and I've um done one side on the front as well. So um let's get right into it so I hope you enjoy. So if I just move this trailer out of the way for now, so as you can see here, I've got everything you need. So you'll need some PVA glue, got there. We need either some sandpaper and scotch bright. You don't have to have it, but I find it's probably best to do it. You have the glue stick better. You need some brown paint, or in this case, what I'm using is Vallejo um, acrylic rust paint. You can get off Amazon. A paintbrush of any size, which doesn't, I've just using a little thin one. And something to put your PVA glue on, which you've got here. I'll need a bit more PVA glue than that. And also, you don't have to have this, but also for the front of the trays, what you need to do is get a little bit of a um, brush with silage and some of your brown paint. This is what your paint's for. And just mix that in with some of that paint, and then you end up with like a muddy kind of looking thing like that anyway so let's get right into it so if i want to do i'm going to start with um getting my pva glue ready so it's so what you want to do is obviously you need to get whatever you're putting your pva glue onto i just want to do that a little bit more And then obviously, that's not coming out very well, is it? And you want to um, basically just... That'll do, that's perfect. That might have been a little bit too much there, but it's fine, that'll do the job. So, now, you want to um, get your brush. And I find, so, you just want to get quite a lot on, but not too much. And then is what you want to do. So basically, I want to start with the bottom. So then you want to yeah, just make sure you can see that perfectly. So you want to basically just dab. Keep getting your thing and just kind of dab it on. And I find in corners and stuff, I'm going to put a bit more where you would get a build up of them. Soil and grass, so make sure you um get pretty much everywhere. So, um, do all along, you can kind of pick yourself where you want to put it, but do all along the, the top and place rails and stuff where you'd normally get grass that gets stuck, and then kind of just so I find if you look. Staple it on like that and just, just staple it on like that and just kind of get it on and then you can once you staple it on just kind of just get a it's a bit too much on there to wipe it away. Kind of get like that so now you wanna get um your silage. So I've got more just get a bit of silage now I've got a bucket full. Here, it's a JCB bucket off a JCB TM, which I've got in the background just to show you just some more of the weathered. So I weathered this and this JCB. Um, so I weathered that with um, Vallejo mud paint. So anyway, so you get like this, and then what you want to do is, I find, just get all this out of the way. I'll show you what the scotch bot's for in a minute. You just want to get it on like this. Get it on its bit of an angle. And then you just want to grab a pink of it. And then you just kind of sprinkle it on because it a little bit goes a, goes a long way. And in corners and stuff. Try and get quite a bit on but not too much. And you should end up with something looking like that so when it when when you come to doing the top 
I'm just gonna sprinkle it on again. It's a bit of a messy job, so make sure you've not doing it on like something that's like a like your table or something. I'm I'm doing it on the board from Model Farm, which I'm still building. So then, what I'm gonna do is you can either you step dump it off, or you can do. I've got there. I've got a um bucket full of solid. So basically, all you wanna do is let me put that down. Is just this pretty much. So just get it up on there, and then you just wanna try and get a lot of. You can just like blow a little bit off. Try and get rid of the excess. So you could end up with something like something like this. Now I know this is not the best. So you probably this thing, this saw didn't come out very well. So I'm just gonna put. You can don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna put just a little bit more glue on. And just sprinkle a bit more. Like that. So now you should end up with something looking a bit like that. Now. I find if you let it dry a little bit, then you can do it, but then that's the side that I did earlier, so that's how that comes out looking. So now, time for the the front. So, so what you want to do is you obviously get your scotch bright or standing paper, you don't have to do it, but if you've got it, so then you, what you want to do is basically just get, try and take some of the paint off mainly down the bottom but pretty much everywhere like that so you should you can obviously you can see if you've got like that there's a kind of a along there there's a difference in colour obviously that's where the paints come off so now it's time for his pot that you mixed up. So it's all you want to do, as I already said. It's a little bit of this silage and a little bit of your brown paint. Now if you're using like normal, like you say like your paint that comes in, like that kind of stuff that you get from the pound shop, I'd dilute it down with a tiny little bit of water, like a drop of water, just to make it a little bit more liquidy if it's quite thick. Then it's what you want to do. So you get some of that, get your brush. Try and if you've got any bits of solid gun or anything, just try and get them, try and get that off. And you want to get, now you need a quite a bit of PVA glue for this. Then you want to get this and kind of just go like that. And you need, you need a thick amount. Now put a lot on the grill and around there. You don't want too much, but you want a lot on the bottom. You know, quite a bit on by the grill because that's where you'll get like the bottom and the uh, round by the grill is where you get the most build up. So now, what you want to do is some of this ends up being quite not. Is it end up being a little bit clumpy? So when you're doing that, what you can do get a pink of it and really when you're sprinkling it. I find you could do it like this, and then you get it up on like that, and kind of just, and let me just, so I'm doing it, I'm going to do it up against this shed, just to, kind of just, so you can see what I'm doing now, but if I do it like that, basically, I'm going to get like that, and it kind of does look a little bit like cow muck, a little bit when you put it on, so you're going to get it on, not too thick, but, a little bit thick and then just get it on like that so then you can either just 
blow it off if you get your hand like that. Unless you've got a big tub of it, you kind of blow it off like that. You get with the excess. So you'll probably see there. Yeah. Is your um, you probably want a little bit more once you've blown it off. This is where you need to really almost get like a little fibers of it and get a little bit. So now that looks about done. So what you want to do, get your sides, get a tiny little amount, and just kind of just go along the top like that. You want really want to match the other side. Now I prefer the other side to look how this looks now. Look that. So then. But I'm going to have to kind of, uh, so you also probably want a little bit, you can probably see there, if I just put that down, I'm just get a little bit more paint. Here we go, that'll do. You could probably try and, I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you haven't got any PVA glue, you could probably try and use a little bit of, you've been missing all of this, haven't you? Yep, you have. Hello everyone, um, this is this, this is just for me the outro to the video I filmed yesterday, which will be weathering this trailer, and um, it turned out quite well. Um, just watch what you're doing, because when you touch it, some of the um, stuff will come off. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, and bye for now. See you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed.